Most European countries have castles worth seeing. After all, kingdoms once ruled vast territories and left their mark. Welcome to Rarest Rarities, where we bring you the rarest places, collectibles, and rarities lists. In this video, we're going to talk about the 10 rarest European castles. However, before we go ahead, remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any awesome videos. Castles are essential to European history. They may seem magical and mysterious like fairy tales. Actually, many fairy tales are based on stories involving real castles. France, Germany, and the UK have many castles, each unique and sure to impress visitors. Here are the 10 rarest European castles. Number 10. Alcazar of Chagovia, Spain One of Spain's most magnificent castles is Chagovia's Alcazar. A Spanish castle designed in the Moorish architectural style is known as an Alcazar. The Alcazar of Segovia was constructed atop a rocky crag, as is typical for a fortress, and was first mentioned in Christian writing in the 12th century. The Alcazar of Segovia was a favorite residence of Castilian kings during the Middle Ages. The exterior of the castle has a Herrarian courtyard, a keep with four towers, a moat, and a drawbridge. A chapel and several regal rooms are located inside. Number 9. Trakai Island Castle, Lithuania All Grand Dukes of Lithuania resided in the Stone Castle. Trakai Island Castle withstood many sieges, inspiring many Lithuanian folktales. The 14th century classical Trakai Island Castle is one of Eastern Europe's medieval fortresses. This castle on an island surrounded by lakes and canals is Eastern Europe's only floating castle. Trakai Castle Museum opened in 1962 after the castle was rebuilt. Today, visitors can see interesting exhibits, historical interiors, expressive stained glass, ancient frescoes, and hidden passageways. Number 8. Predjama Castle, Slovenia Slovenia's only cave castle is the world's largest. The 123-meter-high Predjama Castle is one of Europe's most impregnable fortresses. The small castle has a banquet hall and other elegant rooms. Cave castles have chapels, dungeons, and escape routes. The fact that a bat colony lives in the castle's cave makes this popular Slovenian tourist destination stand out among European castles. Due to bat hibernation, the bat cave is open only from June to August. Number 7. Carnarvon Castle, Wales Wales has the most castles per square mile in Europe, and Carnarvon Castle, one of the best English castles, is worth a visit. In the 13th century, King Edward I of England built Carnarvon Castle, a royal residence and military outpost. For over 600 years, royal families lived in the castle, which English forces fortified during various wars. The castle's tapestries, armor, and banners are stunning. This well-preserved UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of Europe's best castles and draws tourists from around the world with its impressive architecture and views of castle towns and the River Seant. Number 6. Chateau de Chinosco, France European castles like Chateau de Chinosco are worth visiting. Its history is intriguing. The Renaissance castle, built in the 16th century, was owned by Catherine de' Medici, Diane de Poitiers, and Louis Dupin, who turned it into a beautiful place with stunning gardens and architecture. The chateau, completed in 1522, represents a type of architecture transition between Gothic and Renaissance. Another important part of this story is that the castle was opened to the public during the French Revolution to cheer people up. Wait, what? Yep, that's right, it was opened to cheer people up. Visitors will be awed by the architecture and artifacts. Living rooms, bedrooms, kitchens, and large gardens are also available. The bedrooms have beautiful tapestries, paintings, and plush beds. Number 5. Windsor Castle, United Kingdom The largest castle in England, Windsor Castle, was constructed in the 11th century and has served as the royal residence of England ever since. The Queen lives privately here in the palace. Additionally, it serves as a venue for numerous state visits, which are frequently held in the state apartments. St. George's Hall, or the Grand Reception Room, it is one of the magnificent castles to view and boasts a thousand rooms, making it the largest occupied castle in the world. Additionally, the medieval castle was constructed using a variety of architectural styles, adding to the diversity of this wonderful attraction. The size of it will astonish visitors. It is truly deserving of the title Best Castle in Europe due to its outstanding interior and exterior design. Number 4. Bran Castle, Dracula's Castle 
Romania. While Dracula is a fictional character from Bram Stoker's 1897 gothic horror novel, it's interesting to note that there's a Dracula's castle situated just outside Brasov in Romania, which was once part of the eastern border of Transylvania. Dracula's castle is actually a world-class medieval fortress. The 13th century Teutonic Knights named Bran Castle Brennan, meaning fire. Europe's best castles include this military fortress. Bran Castle's 60-meter cliff-top terraces and windows overlook the villages below. Displayed are weapons, armor, and furniture. Its drawbridge leads to the main tower. Medieval furniture decorates the rooms and halls. Paintings fill a hundred plus rooms. Bran Castle is a museum and one of Eastern Europe's famous medieval castles with a panoramic view. Over half a million people visit this stunning castle each year. Number 3. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland With structures dating back to the 12th century, Edinburgh Castle is a magnificent castle. The castle is located on Edinburgh's Castle Rock, which was created by an extinct volcano. The oldest castle in the world began to house royalty in the 15th century, with Mary Queen of Scots, King James VI and I, and even Bonnie Prince Charlie among its most notable residents. For many years, Edinburgh Castle was used as a military stronghold. Between 1998 and 2014, the renowned castle underwent some renovations, including the building of a visitor center replacement slates for the roof, and conservation work on the stonework. Number 2. Pena Palace, Sintra, Portugal During Romanticism, King Ferdinand II built this grand castle, one of Europe's largest. Since it's perched on a hill in São Pedro de Penaferim, Sintra, the castle is perfect for castle dates. The castle, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1984, looks like a fairy tale king's home. Lisbon is breathtaking from the tower's 250-meter height. Many artists have drawn inspiration from the castle, which has been featured in movies, video games, and books. While retaining its medieval appearance, the palace's vibrant colors and intricate designs make it unique. Daniel Richter, Johann Peter Kraft, and Enrique Poso de Armas, a Silvio Rold's romantic paintings, are in the castle. The charming castle, one of Portugal's seven wonders, enthralled Hans Christian Andersen. Number 1. Prague Castle Prague. The site where Prague Castle stands was previously occupied by earlier castles, churches, and even settlements dating back to the 10th century. It's thought to be one of the largest castles in Europe and is home to a number of artworks. This fascinating castle has a rich history and served as the official residence of numerous notable emperors, including Ferdinand I, Francis Joseph I, and Charles IV. The jewels used for many kings and queens' coronations make up the Bohemian crown jewels, which are located here. Within the castle grounds, the St. Vitus Cathedral is another worthwhile stop. It's regarded as one of the most significant locations for royal coronations, including king and queen funerals. The castle is still in use today as a working palace, hosting numerous official state events and acting as a museum where visitors can view rare historical artifacts from its collection. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.